Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Recently, Adobe updated Lightroom to version 8.1. Now, I'm not talking about Lightroom Classic. I'm talking about what many of us call the cloud version of Lightroom or the desktop version of Lightroom. With this update, Adobe added something to Lightroom that many of us have wanted Adobe to add for the longest time. And in today's video, I'm going to show you what it is. Before I do, very quickly, I want to mention that if you go to my website, anthonymorganti.com, you'll find that I have some new free things I'm offering, specifically some keyboard shortcut PDFs that you could print at home. I've offered a number of them for some time, but recently I added three new ones. Specifically, I've added keyboard shortcuts for Lightroom Desktop. That's the version of Lightroom that I'll be working with today. Again, it's a PDF that you could download and print at home. And I've added uh, Lightroom, or I've added uh, keyboard shortcuts for Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro. So if you're interested in any keyboard shortcuts or in any of the mini courses that I have, I'll have a link to it in the description below this video. Now, as far as this version of Lightroom, version 8.1, they really haven't added a lot to it. Uh, one kind of more notable thing, they, if you want to call it that, that they've added to it is in Lens Blur, they added a new bokeh. It's an amorphic look. Um, probably do a video on that in the near future, but it's nothing earth shattering. This new feature that I'm talking about has to do when you use Lightroom with Photoshop. In the past, you could only send a single image from Lightroom to Photoshop. You couldn't send more than one image. Well, with this update, you're now able to send more than one image. Let me show you. You can see I have three images in the film strip. I am clicked on one. I'm going to hold the shift key down and click on the last one so all three are selected. I could send all three of these image, images simultaneously to Photoshop. To do that, go up to File. Then down to edit in Photoshop, you'll see there's a new menu that appears and you have the option to edit in Photoshop. If you choose this option, all three images will be sent to Photoshop and will open up in individual tabs. Below that is open as smart object in Photoshop. Again, all three images will open up in separate tabs in Photoshop, but they'll be smart objects. And finally, you have open as layers in Photoshop. With this option, all three images will open up in a single tab and they'll be layered one on top of the other. And that's what I'm going to choose here. So I'm going to click on that. And then you'll notice that this pop-up appears telling you to make your edits in Photoshop, but keep Lightroom open. When you're done in Photoshop, close it completely down. When you do that, then your edited image will show up in Lightroom. It'll be right next to the other images. Also, um, if you don't do any edits at all in Lightroom, all of your layers will remain intact and you have the option to not see this again. So I'm just going to open in Photoshop and then you'll notice there's a progress bar in the top left hand corner. Now, one thing I, I kind of don't like about this is if you have the beta version of Photoshop installed on your computer, it's always going to use the beta version of Photoshop. There is not an option in Lightroom like there is in Lightroom Classic where you could tell it what version of Photoshop to use. So you're kind of stuck using the beta version no matter what. Now you can see they opened up as layers uh, right here. Um, obviously, I what you probably are wondering what I'm doing with these three images. I'm going to do some masking and we're going to have uh, Joe sitting on the bench in three different positions. So the first thing you need to do is align these layers. So I'm just going to select all the layers so they're all selected over here. And then I'm going to go up to edit. And then I'm going to go to auto align layers. And I'm going to use the auto projection. I'm just going to click OK. And now they're aligned. Now I'm just going to turn off the top layer, click on that middle layer, and then we'll get a layer mask. And then we'll get a brush. And this is one of the mini courses that I offer for free on my website. And again, I'll have a link to that in the description below this video. And you get these three images with that course so you could work along at home. So we're going to brush, um, hit the B key for the brush, make sure we're painting in black. Um, and I'll bring hardness all the way up to 100%. Make sure opacity and flow at 100%. We'll get a little bigger of a brush by hitting the right bracket key. Now 
simple as that. Then we'll turn on that top layer, click on it, add a mask to it. Again, we're painting black. So we'll come over here. And we'll paint Joe in over here. We'll come over here and get the middle Joe. So we have three Joes sitting on the bench simultaneously. And that's your little Photoshop lesson today. So now we're just going to close Photoshop, quit Photoshop. It's going to ask us to save it. Make sure we save it. And it will close Photoshop and it will return us to Lightroom. And in a second or three, you'll find that this image will be in the film strip with the other three. And there it is right there. And it's all pixelated, but there it is. So you could do some editing here, but if you do editing, you'll lose your layers. Uh, you know, so here it's obviously crooked, so we'll come and straighten it. So anyway, that is how you use this new feature in this version of Lightroom. You can now send more than one image to Photoshop. That's it. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.